So I found Jennifer Palka's um, talk at Google to be extremely eye-opening, and she really brought up issues that I never even thought of or necessarily knew existed. Um, I can absolutely say that I have a huge respect for her and what she is doing. Um, in today's world, I think that we often tend to get caught up in the latest technology and what's going on on social media. And for many of us entering the workforce, um, I think a lot of us are kind of just in search of that amazing dream job where we're going to be working on the coolest projects and bringing in the big bucks kind of thing. And I think a lot of people can relate to this sentiment, especially those with really valuable skills um, like coding. And if I were blessed enough to have a skill set like that, I know for a fact that I would be attempting to work for one of the big guys like Google. Um, so I definitely understand why that is so appealing to everyone. And unfortunately, this is exactly what is working against Palka and her cause. Um, I think it's really an amazing cause and the opportunity to bring resources to those who may otherwise not have access to them could be incredibly rewarding. Um, it's just not necessarily rewarding in a monetary way, which I think is a major deterrent for a lot of people who have the skills that could help with this process. Um, and when Palka said that the government can work if we make it work, I found that to be very inspiring, um, especially with everything that is going on in our world today. It just kind of shows that, you know, we have the resources to come together and improve how citizens view the government and how they interact with them. Um, I just don't know if it's something that we necessarily could expect to see in the near future. Um, so on a related note regarding the questions about UNC's websites, um, I found myself pretty much immediately rolling my eyes. Um, I think back to freshman year trying to use Connect Carolina and at the time UNC was still using the Blackboard website instead of Sakai, which was also a pain. Um, I shed a lot of tears trying to register for classes and things like that in Connect Carolina, missed registration, um, just a lot of difficulty navigating that kind of stuff, especially coming out of high school and not really having anything that was similar to that. So I really could not imagine someone who is not as familiar with technology trying to use government websites and get information that they need. Um, when she talked about People trying to get food stamps and, you know, having to do it from phones that weren't great and staying up till the wee hours of the morning just so that they could get these food stamps. That is something that I didn't even realize was happening and it's a major issue. Um, and I think that if we have these people that have the skills to to help fight that problem that it definitely is something that is possible um, if only you know the government could provide more funding and things like that so it could so people would be more inclined to do this um, and so as I said before I really respect Palka and I think her cause is something that could positively influence the lives of so many people and unfortunately, there's just so many forces working against her. And um, that's a shame. And I, But I really hope to see Code for America become a success in this idea spread, um, which I, I think will happen. Um, like I said before, I just don't know that it will potentially happen in the near future. But um, I found her talk to be really inspiring, and I really expect, really, 
respect everything that she is working towards.